This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 123 for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. What's up, everybody? <laughs> it wouldn't be a podcast without a little technical difficulty. Well, you know, we like a challenge. We like a challenge, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Um, Tuesday. Home for a day. Home for a day. Well, that's what it feels like. <laughs> oh my god. I, you know, I'm I'm sick of traveling. <laughs> we have what? Three more shows. Uh, three more shows in the next what? Six weeks. Uh, five weeks? I don't know. Yeah. All I know is after Columbus, I'm gonna be one happy camper. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, then you got Christmas season though. Thanksgiving. Christmas. I don't care. At least I'll be home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. All right, so <laughs> um, we just got back from, in case you're wondering, uh, Dallas. Dallas Penn Show. Um, what a blast. Um, always, always a good show, and uh, they got, you know, I... I have to admit, I didn't really see much of a whole lot of uh, the Dallas folk there. We were always so busy. Um, um, I didn't get a chance to chance to chat much with with most of those guys. Um, yeah, but boy, did we get to meet some really awesome people. It was, yeah. There was some really really cool stuff going on. Uh, my my one question for you is: Have you washed your hand yet? Uh, you know, I accidentally did today, so. No! I know, right? Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Do we just want to dive right in, uh, Wednesday? Wednesday, we left, um, pretty much on time. I think I had the car packed, um, went home, took a shower, got all ready, um, came back to the store, picked up Brian, and uh, we were on the road by 5:30, which was pretty pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, uneventful, uneventful drive. Uh, yeah. No rain, no weather, nothing. Um, we uh, we did not have to sit, <laughs> as in park on the highway in Oklahoma this year, like we've been known to do in other years. So that it's was kind nice. of been an annual event, you know, a kind of. <laughs> One way or another. Kind of, kind of miss it. Uh, no. Um, let's see. Really, really uneventful trip down. I can't try to think if there's anything I'm, I'm thinking of other than briefly driving in the wrong lane um, uh, at the uh, at the Big Indian at uh, where is that? Big Cabin, Oklahoma. Big Cabin, Big Cabin, Oklahoma. If you haven't Big been Cabin there, o- uh, pretty much our picture. To the Big suffice. Chief. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the big chief, and I'm trying to take a picture, and Lisa's unsure which way we're going, and turns out we're in the wrong lane. But I got a pretty decent picture of the we're big good. chief. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Um, <laughs> I'm, re- I'm reading the chat here for a second. Um, uh, no, it was it was fine. Uh, everything was was good. Yeah, perfect weather, really good drive. Um, Uneventful drive for 1,100 miles is a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it was really, really, really nice. So um, uh, we got into on about, the way back is another story. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we got in about 4 p.m. I guess it's all Central Time, so that's cool. Um, 4 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon. Um, what did we do? We got in. Got a room, grabbed a couple things, went upstairs, um, and took a nap. We did. That's right. We we did. We took a nap for nice. two two, <laughs> two hours really or nice. something. Um, and then uh, got up, went downstairs, um, wandered into the trading room for a little bit. I just kind of wandered around. Yeah, we got to see we got to see Jimmy. Um, yep. Jimmy was yep. in there. Um, Ryan from Kenro was uh, in the lobby. One of the first people we saw, uh, Joel mm-hmm. Hamilton. Um, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it's. It's like coming home. Uh, my girl Ben was at the bar, so it was uh, good to see that uh, the the same bartenders are there, and and we had a good time. Yep. Uh, so we did have a did have a little snack. 
Um, then we realized we made a mistake. Yeah, they're not dumplings. They're, they're egg dumplings. rolls. The dumplings are in Raleigh. 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 Did I pronounce yep, that right? Raleigh. Raleigh. Yep, Raleigh. Raleigh. Go, Lori Todd. Raleigh. Um, these yep, are egg rolls. egg rolls. South Southwest egg rolls. And last year they were phenomenal. This and the year, year before they were phenomenal. This year, not so much. I was really very disappointed. I give them a str a, a very um, what's the word like I'm looking four. for? A C a plus. Four out of ten. Yeah. A C plus, and that's they were, generous. They were overcooked and not good. Not good. They, the wings were super, super flaming hot, which they were not last year. And we only got three, um, and. The egg rolls, which we rave about and, and talk about, I even recommended it to the guy when I was making my hotel reservation. They were, I would not order them again. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, and, and it was just weird. It was, uh, they're... And, and, you know, we travel a lot, and there are things that we really, um, we really enjoy and we'll really look forward to. Um, and, and... For people who are coming in and, and may not have been to this hotel before, and, and you're not sure, do you want to go across the street? Do you want to go down the road? Do you want yeah, to eat is the, there? Is the bar food good? Is it bad? I mean, yeah. some are better than others. How's the service? Service is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. No no, no yeah. gripes about the service uh, whatsoever. But um, I, I don't know what was going on. It was just really, really strange. Mm -hmm. And then, and, yeah, the, the, the three-wing thing was really disappointing, like, who thought that was a good number? Because there were like five egg rolls and three. I don't know. Maybe they know. heard we were. Anyway. The the, the uh, chicken the chicken noodle soup was good. You had a salad in addition to that. I had salads both nights and they were excellent. So that was fine. Um, and the Ziegenbach beer was phenomenal. Always good. Always good. You can't yeah. go wrong. Um, <laughs> I, I love what's going I on wonder, in the chat. <laughs> I wonder uh, if we can get that here. Can Flanagan order Ziegenbach for us? I don't know. I, I would. Uh, I, it would be nice to have a nice little change of pace. Yep. So anyway, we we got in Thursday. We took a nap. We had uh, we started to have a little food, um, and then we had a business meeting. We had a business uh, meeting that ran several hours. It was worth it. Yep. It was excellent. We learned. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we learned a lot. We're still internalizing everything. Yep. Uh, in a good way, but it was it was great. And then we got some good sleep. Uh, actually, then afterward, we unpacked the car into the room. Yep, got the, uh, got the grid set, set up. And we set up the grid, which is an hour right there. Um, and uh, that was good to be able to at least unpack the car. That saved us an hour in the morning. Uh, and then we just went up and passed out. And that was nice. Yeah, so Friday morning, it was uh, 8 to 10 set up. Uh, and we had uh, I don't know I don't know how you did this you scored this really cool deal where we could go and have we're on the executive floor or whatever it was and there's a special room and you had breakfast and the lounge the lounge it was <laughs> the lounge she says um, <laughs> and it was really cool so they had you know, good good breakfast we come downstairs at eight o'clock and I don't know how long it took us to get set up but uh, you know it's generally reasonably slow Friday morning. The uh, show opens at 10, but we're there at 8, uh, getting things set up. Um, oh, you know, I, I, what I forgot to mention is, is the first acquisition actually um, happened Thursday night. What was it? Um, it's going to be impossible. Now, I'm going to hold this up to the screen. Sorry, Wayne. Uh, and you all, y'all, since we just got back from Dallas, you all yeah. have to tell me the connection here because you're going to look at this and you're going to go, "What is that?" So what did we buy. Uh, we didn't actually buy anything. We traded for this. So I want to hold this up. Oh yeah, that. And if any of you in the ch I know I don't think anybody's going to get this. I have any idea what this is? We traded for it. It was good. And why why I would want this? Because uh, you're weird. Because I'm weird. Um, so we'll, we'll just we'll just Help hang them out. that. Okay. What's that? Help them out. 
Okay, so this this is actually is a I believe this is a, a cigarette holder, and it's made out of uh, briar wood on the top, and this is some kind of uh, I'm assuming some kind of plastic on the on the bottom end. Uh, why would I want that? So anyway, we um, um, we got that, and uh, I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, Friday, so we set up. And um, what uh, anything of significance that we want to mention from Friday? Uh, the traffic was really good. Those those Dallas boys, they really know how to how to bring people to the um, to the show. Through the door. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They get people through the door. A lot of excited people. Um, people that are curious, interested. Um, you don't get a lot of people um, who are. Just looking, I mean, we go to buy, we go to see friends and, and pretty much family, um, but we also go to sell, and there are not too many people who are tire kickers, if you know the phrase. Um, people who go are there to um, to see something they've, they've looked at online and they want to actually hold it and touch it, or they are there to buy. Um, there were some people selling things. Uh, it was it was very active. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, I wanted to wait a little bit so that the chat could catch up. But yes, um, this indeed, this little piece here is an Esterbrook Briarwood cigarette holder. It's actually imprinted Esterbrook. It's the same font, same script uh, as on the pens, made by Esterbrook. Go figure. Uh, actually, it's it looks like it's unused. Um, probably never been smoked in. It's very, very clean. Yeah, very cool. So, uh, but yeah, and <laughs> I got to tell this. I got to tell this story about uh, this lady that came up to the table, and I think she was just a casual, um, um, very casual user, and she happened to have grandfather's pen in her purse. Oh, this was killing Brian afterward. Oh my god! Yeah, this god. is this is killing me, right? Because you know she's handling this like it's a bick, and she pulls. She uh, to her credit, she had it in, in a in a nice uh, nice sleeve. But she pulls out this baseball bat, a Waterman four sixteen sterling silver filigree overlay um, with clip, uh, eyedropper. Uh, it's the the Art Nouveau pattern. And um, uh, it's got the wrong nib, but it's got it's got a Waterman uh, seven nib instead of the, the the six New York nib. But but it, it was it was obviously there a long time, and she's wondering what it's worth and what kind of ink should she put in it. <laughs> you know, trying to explain to her. Oh, this was killing. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, part of me was hoping she was going to say, well, you know, listen, if, if you want to buy it, you can buy it. But um, um, Crazy. So uh, I, I told her how to how to fill the pen. It's an eyedropper. She ended up getting a pipette and some ink, um, and uh, gave her a little bit of uh, advice, and uh, and off she went. But uh, it was just I, I never in a million years would expect to see a four sixteen just crop up from you know Grandpa's <laughs> estate. So that was cool. That was kind of cool. Um, what else? What else happened? Friday, um, I was excited. I finally got to meet our Retro 51 rep, Jennifer, and she was awesome. It was great to, to finally meet her. Um, and we also got to meet um, Carol and John of Luxury Brands, Noodlers and Platinum. And I, I got yeah, to say, we awesome. felt... We, it's like... like Hugh and Carol and Jenny and Bill and a couple of the other couples, we just kind of fell in love. <laughs> we had the yeah, best they're, time. Yeah, they're, they're real honest-to-goodness, just donor people. Hardworking. Um, you know, we were talking uh, teenagers and, and teens trying to become adults and how to live with all that and talking business. And, yeah, they work crazy hours just like we do. Uh, we were joking that... Um, any given day, one of the four of us is probably up at one or two in the morning, thinking about work or doing some kind of work, and uh, and they, they sent us an email like at eleven thirty at night or something and Saturday Friday. We were up and responded like a minute later, so it was pretty uh, funny. Um, but I I gotta tell you, I have a whole new respect for 
how hard they work, and it really helped us as retailers understand a little bit of how things work on the distributor side, at least for Noodlers and Platinum. Mm -hmm. So that was very interesting. Yeah, yeah, they were cool. Um, yeah, Retro, Jennifer at Retro was, was awesome. Um, I got a new... We got to see new, some cool stuff. The, the new Rollerball that's coming out um, this week, actually, right? Yes, on, yes, uh, the Albert... Albert Rollerball. We'll be in Rollerball. I think so I'm excited about that. <laughs> There's a little clapping because... It's cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, wait. Does it, you're excited about a ballpoint? I'm excited about the um, the, the, the Albert because the Albert's cool. Now, if they make it in a it fountain, then I might actually get one because that's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. okay. So. Uh, let's see. What else happened Friday? Friday was a long day. It was a long day, yep. Friday was uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So, um, what did we do after? Uh, afterwards, we went down to the bar, and we thought we were going to um, try the egg rolls one more time. Oh. <laughs> and so, yeah. and so the gentleman comes out, uh, takes our order, uh, get a burger with fries. Um, Western burger with fries, and um, we decide we're going to get. Normally, you can get like any one of like five items. We said, let's do this. Um, let's do the egg rolls and the egg rolls. And you got another yeah, salad. There... I got a really yummy salad. Uh, and the egg rolls came out, and they were all burned. <laughs> they were just as bad, if not worse. Uh, there were more of them. So yeah, and it was, it was just it was, it was not. Unreal. Yeah, it was really and the, bad. And the the, the French the French fries were like, I, I I kid you not, they were half an inch long and all burned and crispy and crunchy. Um, they were not good. The burger was great. I I couldn't the ask. Salad was good. The salad was good. Ziegenbach was, was excellent. Uh, I they got something going on with the whole that whole frying thing. So I don't know. Um, well, you know, it's maybe it's some karmic message to not eat fried food. My salad was excellent. Yeah. Well, well you know, I, I'm i not going to say I'm not going to have them next year, but, you know, if it, if it happens too much more. We may expand our... our may expand the repertoire. Something, yeah. So. Um, Saturday, so Friday night, we, uh, we hung out with Eddie G for a little bit. Yeah, Eddie G. <laughs> Eddie G and <laughs> Eddie I G were talking... Eddie G is a trip. He is, man. Oh, my God. Um, but really cool. Actually, we hung out for a while, and then you got up to, to go uh, back I went to, to bed. I was tired. Uh, Eddie G and I stayed up for one more beer. Actually, I was going to kind of go up, but I, I, I was you were still standing there talking with uh, – I don't remember who you were talking with. Um, uh, Dan Rappert, Cin oh, Dan and Cindy right. Rappert, and uh, who are they with? Sam and Frank? or jo No, Joel and Cheryl. Joel and Cheryl, yep. Yeah. And uh, – and, as you as you're talking, I'm finishing up my beer, and, and I said, "Well, you know, as long as we're at it, just you know, bring another one. At least it's still yapping over there." So, uh, Eddie and I had another another, uh, another uh, beer, and um, uh, we had a nice conversation about some jazz and uh, Las Vegas and um, competitive darts and competitive all sorts darts of cool and, stuff. Yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. So, um, and uh, we were oh, that's right, and we had. We got the current issue of Pen World to see uh, the the Unica LE in uh, in this issue of Pen World, so that was cool. We had that. We're kind of flipping through Looks great. that at dinner, yep. um, and and that was it. You know, Friday was just it was it was, it was a long day. It was quite busy. I, was, I didn't even get get out to. It look was at just anything. nice to chill afterward. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did have uh, I did have one one gentleman come up to the the table and. Um, we have been having conversations about uh, certain nips, and uh, he gave me a warranted wing flow. Uh, you, you can't really see much. Um, it's a it's a renew point replacement, so to speak, but it's got a cool, um, clear lucite feed and a an amberish clear collar on it. Um, kind of a neat neat looking nib. I don't actually have one of these in my collection, so he gave it to me. It was kind of cool. Um, that was kind of neat. Uh, what else? Uh, who else? I guess I guess we could we could move into Saturday, huh? And it was Saturday. I'm still Gaga. 
I'm I'm still floored by Saturday. Okay, which part? Because Saturday was like m maybe one of the most awesome days of the pen show ever. So Saturday, um, Saturday was busy. Again, excellent traffic, but um, during some of the lulls, um, I did manage to sneak away. Uh, I went and I spoke with um, the Mont Blanc rep, uh, and that was nice. Um, to see some of the stuff and, and some different displays. Um, and our Mont Blanc rep had spoken to this one, so she knew we were going to be there, and, and it was just nice to chat to, with somebody else. Um, spend some time with John and Carol of Luxury Brands again. Uh, we ended up coming home with some really cool displays. Uh, for yeah, some, they are cool. For they some pens cool. we're going to talk about it in just a few minutes. Um, and then as I was kind of making my rounds to go back, I noticed that there was this gentleman standing with Ryan from Kenro. And I remembered he had oh said that this gentleman would be there. So I went over and I introduced myself. And I may never be the same. To Luca <laughs> from Omas. And he was, as most Italian men are, uh, charming and well spoken, and and he held my hand, and uh, <laughs> he was just so sweet. And you know, Ryan was explaining who we are. You know, one of their retailers, and and that Brian loves Omas. I did have to confess to him that uh, I think that they're pretty, but I prefer Aurora. Don't don't get offended, but you know, he was fine. At least half the family likes Omas, and then. He wanted to meet Brian, so he kind of held my hand and we walked over to the table together. And it was. And, and Luca, Luca's like the vice president or something like that. He's big. He's yeah. He's, I, I, I he gave me his card and I think I still have it. He gave you his card. You didn't even show it to me. <laughs> no, it's all mine. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and he was he was just so sweet and so excited and genuinely happy to be there. It was mm -hmm. it was awesome. Yeah. Went over and and you know introduced him to Brian. Um, I think I milked it. When he, he I, I think you peaked your pants. You were so I, excited. <laughs> it was very manly, though I got to say. But no, it was it was awesome. It was wonderful. No, he, he yeah he, you're you're right. He he was absolutely he was very well spoken. He was uh, he was very passionate. Uh, yes. About pens and writing and using fine writing instruments and um, uh, we really in those brief. Three minutes that we chatted. Um, yeah, change your life, man. <laughs> it, it, was, it was really cool. I wish I would have had to had more time to talk with him, but it was it was so busy. It just uh, it was it was like a total fangirl weekend for me because you know we we love that we can meet and and spend some time with our distributors, um, and we love Kenro and we love Yaffa, but we see them a lot. Right. You know, it's it's almost like like cousins or something. You know, you see them, but there's not quite the same urgency or or rush. We see Ryan a lot. We love Ryan. We love Danine at Kenro. Um, it was awesome to see Joel in DC. Um, you know, Yaffa. We've we've spoken highly of of Kenny and Ross and, and, and now Ross, Mary. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, but to meet V Luca from Olmas was killer and, and, and to be able to uh, to be able to um, you know spend some time with with Carol and John from luxury brands was great and to, to find out their values are like ours their work ethic is like ours we, we really just connected and, and that was awesome um, so that was really great and then uh, I, sh I gotta I gotta mention though, Luca actually held my Omas. Like, he, <laughs> he blessed it, but I didn't want to tell him it was a prototype because I didn't want him to like take it back. But um, he did. He... Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, so. it was cool. And then this um, this man comes up to me and introduces himself, and he says, uh, "Lisa," and I said, "Yep." He says. Uh, I'm John Lane of Pilot Pens. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I've had, you know, we've had 
tons of emails back and forth. Um, and just to be able to meet, I had no idea who was going to be there. And he, he said, you know, he didn't plan to be, but his... Um, well, he doesn't live anywhere in, near the area. <laughs> no, no. He, he actually lives in Washington State, and he commutes to Jacksonville, Florida. And he goes to Jacksonville for like 10 days and then back home. He said he didn't want to move, so he just flies. Um, that would be cool. But so it was, it was great to meet him, but then he, he looked over the setup and, and chit-chatted for a while. And then he left for a couple minutes, and then he brought back this pen case. Now, oh my God. now is this the first pen case or the second pen case? This is the first pen case. Okay. So we managed to be the first people to actually hold some of these new pens. Uh, a lot of retailers um, have access to the Pilot Dropbox with all the images that are stock photos that they put out. And so you see a lot of similar or the same pictures um, for some of like the new Copper Vanishing Point or the new Red Falcon that's coming out. Well, we actually got to hold them. They don't send the pens around to various retailers because they only get one, one copy of it. Mm -hmm. And then they just take the pictures and they have it. But John had it in his case, and so we got to hold it and, and see it in person. It's nice. Um, take some pictures. It's nice. The copper is gorgeous. Yeah, you, you want one. Copper, copper is the new stealth or something. I don't know. It's just yeah, it's, it's really pretty. It's the new thing. Rose gold and copper, as my prediction, are going to be that everybody's going to have a copper pen now. Um, it's gorgeous. And it then the red pretty. falcon is done very well. It's a very nice red. Yep. Um, I was very impressed. And, 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 so and, that, that and cool. at that point, Lisa tells me, "Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting a couple. We're getting these." Surprise. Um. And so we're talking about that, and, and uh, I don't remember what else was in that case. And, and then John leaves. I, and he, I didn't even see that. I mean, you just you handed them to me. I was taking pictures. Here, take some pictures. Um, yeah. Instagram this. This is cool. Was, we get to see them. Was that the point where he was telling you about the displays? Yeah, he's got a couple displays that he's sending, and uh, he was super sweet and helpful. What can we do for you? What can we? What do you need? Only one hand and nothing? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and so that was great. So we're getting some posters, we're getting some displays for the store. Awesome. And then then he goes away. And then he comes back. And he has this case with is it six or seven pens? Uh, five. I think you could buy our house with these pens. Uh, you could, yeah. Pretty you're one pretty, of them? Uh, pretty close. Yeah. One of them was eighteen thousand dollars retail. It was huge. It was the one we took a picture of. It was mm -hmm. it was ginormous and gorgeous. Oh my god. So we got to hold that. Then there was one that was fifteen thousand and I believe that all, all Machier. Yeah, absolutely breathtaking. But to see this this big it wasn't a big pen case. It held six or eight pens. Um, but it had big because these were big pens. Uh, I believe that somebody bought the $15,000 pen, which was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I guess um, someone did. But these were gorgeous, and to see these and to hold these, these are things that you look at in a catalog or online and you just drool over. They it's were a, it's just... It's a piece of art. Just, yeah, but it was, it was funny because he was telling the story about um, when he flies uh, in his little regional airport, uh, the TSA person just knows him as the pen guy. Doesn't know how big up he is in the company. Doesn't know anything about it. And um, apparently, she's always asking, "Okay, what's new?" Uh, you know, they need to inspect his bags apparently. And um, so she'll just kind of look at his pen cases and go, "Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Well, that's new. What's that?" And he'll tell her, and they kind of hold up the line. And he's just known as the pen guy. But oh, they were gorgeous. They were outrageous. They were very, very pretty. Yeah. Um, I have not. I don't. I don't think I've ever actually. Well, never held an eighteen thousand dollar pen before. But um, it was cool. It was beautiful. The the craftsmanship, the workmanship on these on these Machier pens are just it's out of this world. Um, I, I I I couldn't ever justify spending that kind of money, but I can see why they would charge that kind of money. Um, 
Well, John was was showing me and explaining. You know, it's all hand painted, and and you can feel it, and the the lacquer, it's just amazing. Well, I mean, the big just... one had these little little dots all over the pen sticking out. I mean, at various points, little gold dots, gold flake were, underneath yeah. the lacquer. Um, it was there, there are no words. It's. And Lisa said we ordered one of each. And, uh, no, we did not. Although John did tell me that he's happy to reserve one for us every year. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll keep you posted. All right. That's, yeah, put that on the back burner. But he said, I, I told him I was totally not expecting to see him there. I mean, we usually know who's going to be there. And he said, oh, my, it was either one of his oldest and dearest friends or his best friend, a really, really good friend, uh, George, uh, lives in the area and said he should stop on by for the show. I thought, oh, well, that's great. And he said, oh, here he is now. Um, oh, by the way, he owns Retro 51. <laughs> 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 so I was excited that we got to meet the art director and the head sales guy and our sales rep, Jennifer. And now I get to, you know, um, hang it out with the, the owner of Retro 51. And he's so laid back and so cool. Mm -hmm. I love that. Their company is just nine people, and they're just totally down to earth. So now, George comes by after he's talked to you, and he um, we start talking, and <laughs> George, he's funny because I said, you know, I said this is really cool that you can take the roller balls and you could put ballpoint refills in them, and that's just that just blows my mind. That's really really a cool idea. And he goes, really? You can do that? <laughs> and then I, then I start going, I'm like, yeah, it's really, you know, do, wait a minute. He goes, yeah, I knew that. And that's how it was designed, he said. <laughs> Screwing with me. He's funny. He's but, funny. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. So it was nice to be able to um, chit-chat with, with some of the higher-ups, not from, um, it, it's just really impressive how down-to-earth they are and how they just share that same passion. Yeah. It's not just about number crunching. It's not just about, oh, I need to, you know, improve your sales or, you know, we need to get you to the next level or whatever. It was just, how did you get into it? You know, how did we get into pen collecting? And, and they sincerely just wanted to chat and and we got to know each other a lot better. It was it was really cool. I had no, I knew that John Lane flew a lot, but I didn't realize he commutes from across the country. That's just crazy. Those are some serious airline miles. So let's see what else. Um, I had a pen tossed to me on Sunday, and and this is this is I'm opening myself up for abuse here. Uh, so so far I've got the cigarette holder. What else did I you have, get? I have a, a spare uh, wing flow nib that fits into Esther books, and then our good friend President Wood uh, says, Brian. I've got an Ake and Lambert barrel for you. I'll I give it to you. Business. And he comes and he tosses this at me. And it's almost impossible to see fully. It's it's a barrel, no nib. It's got the feed, no cap. But it's this blue and red. Hold it still. Blue and red marbled plastic. It's, it's completely outrageous. And I... Uh, he just gave it to me, and and Sam Alardo just happened to be right across the table from us. And Sam's always, um, Sam's always coming over with Aiken Lambert stuff. Uh, and I showed it to him. And he says, "You know, I've never seen that before." And for Sam to say he's never seen this pattern for Aiken Lambert is really, no, that that also means I'll never find the cap. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and then Sam brought over earlier, I guess this was on, on Friday, I forgot to mention this. Um, Sam comes up to me and he says, uh, he says, Brian, I've got this really neat Aiken Lambert, and you got to see it. And he brings it over, and it's in one of these leather cases, and, uh, you know, the standard, you push the button, and you lift the cap. And I open it up, and it's a taper cap. It's a sterling silver filigree overlay on the taper cap, and for those of you um, who know, um, overlay on a taper cap is very, very, it was difficult to do, uh, it's very unusual, it's very hard to find, period, much less 
uh, sterling silver filigree. Um, nice, nice, nice pen. Um, it, it, it was not for sale, but um, Sam always does it. He comes up and he brings like he'll bring a tray of Aiken Lambert or something, and he just says, yeah. you, "You want to check? You want to check this out?" Um, he had some cool death sets on Sunday. Uh, he was mixing it up. He had some really cool death sets there. But uh, yeah, so that was that was my. But oh, then then there's the auction. So, oh yeah. Well, there were a couple other things too. Um, we got to see uh, Lucas from Scribal Workshop again. Absolutely. Yep. And always just a blast to hang out with Lucas. Uh, and uh, for those of you who like the Anderson Pens ink, we got the seventh color. Seventh, the lucky seventh color. Formerly Damselfish, uh, it has now been reformulated, and it will be available later this week. So we're excited yep. about that. Super, super uh, the reformulation is really, really nice. Yes, yes. Lucas has done a great job of uh, improving the flow, but keeping those same awesome colors. Mm -hmm. And we've had a blast working with him. So it was wonderful to see him. Yeah, that that dude is wicked smart. Oh my god, he's so funny. He just blows my mind. He just he talks to you like, kind of like you know you're supposed to know what he's talking about. I'm like, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. You take the neutrons and the electrons and the, and the polymer. The positrons and the radiation, know. and it's, boom, you get ink. I, I don't know. Um, the dude's wicked smart. His dad is super nice. And, and right, yeah, right. David. David's awesome. David's uh, awesome was there all day on Friday. Dave, David, Lucas's dad, yeah. But yeah. he was there kind of across from us, so that was a lot of fun. Um, who else was there? Joel and Cheryl were there behind us. Right behind um, us, yeah. We got to see uh, Dan and Cindy Reppert. Um, we spent some time with uh, Bryant Greer. That was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy was there. Jimmy Dolev. Um, Love Jimmy. Yeah, it, it was a, a decent Krusak. crowd. Ryan Crusoe was right across from us. Yep. Yep. Ryan was down uh, across from the ink. Michael and, Saul. Oh, Michael Saul. Here we it's go. Not Michael. Love Michael. that man. He is so amazingly talented. And last year he wrote a piece in, in Spencerian and it was in the auction and I lost it. And up until Saturday afternoon I was still whining about it because it was gorgeous yep. and I was really frustrated that I lost it. So I was determined I was not going to lose this year. And so, little bit competitive, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so I bid, and uh, I was the only bidder. And then right near the end, right about like one thirty, one forty-five, I kind of ran out to see if anybody else had bid against me, and I was going to bid again. And there was uh, another guy there, kind of guarding what he was bidding on, and. Uh, so he ended up guarding both of them, and I ended up winning. I was super excited, and this thing is absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, so. it is really pretty, pretty sweet. And what, what kills me is it's this big piece of black poster board, and you wrote on it in white. It's either white or white. white. And then he, he flourished it, and he, there's a bird on it with a fountain pen. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. But he said he felt bad that he didn't have time to do anything in advance, so he just did it in his in his hotel room the night before. <laughs> this thing looks like it would take any of the rest yeah. of us weeks. Yeah, a week and a half. Yeah, he just I felt bad, so I just did it in my room last night. Really? Oh my god! So I won it, and it's actually uh, the Pen Collector's Creed. And so what I want to do is take a picture of it and then type it up. Um, for those people who may not be able to read it in the magazine, and then uh, put it in the pennant because it's go. absolutely gorgeous. But the what he wrote, he made up. And so this pen collector's creed, it's kind of why we collect, um, is, is just beautifully worded. So I, I would like to incorporate that somehow for the PCA. Yep. And Brian won a book. Uh, well, I bid on quite a number of items, and I didn't have time to go back and 
Uh, I did win. I did win a 2006-2007 Monte Grappa uh, catalog. Essentially, what it is. It's, it's a gorgeous book that has all the different pen models um, for the year in them, um, different options, and it shows all the different different pens. But um, I also bid on one pen that I really, really, really wanted to win, and now I'm going to whine about it. Um, <laughs> uh, there was an, the, the, the original Edison Pen Company in Petersburg, Virginia, um, a coin filler. Uh, and I have a, a, a small Edison collection, uh, and most people's collections are small because they're really hard to find pens. And uh, I did not win the pen, and I'm sorry I cheapened out, but uh, there were a couple other items too that I bid on I did win, but nothing. So I got a book for five bucks. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's very pretty. <laughs> so. Um, that was kind of that was kind of it. I didn't uh, I didn't get really get much of a chance to, to walk around and, and look at much. Um, I did that on purpose. Well, I know. Um, it was a little disappointing because I always come home with really killer stuff from Dallas, but I just didn't didn't have the time this year. And well, then, we were busy and setup takes a while, and and uh, it's a long drive. It's really a rough show. It is, yeah, yeah. We need to Next do year, it I'd like to more do like it. Sam and Frank. And you know, take like a week. Right. Well, I mean, we got in a day early, which is how we wanted to do it. But yeah, that was nice. Yeah. That's that's the way to do it. Um, coming home was rough. So but anyway, um, uh, Saturday we packed up. Um, <laughs> we ended up picking up um, a boatload of stuff from luxury brands. Um, we ended up with a ton of acrylics and ebonite conrads. So yep. those, uh, actually, I, I put most of those up on the site already. Uh, we do have two new ones. Sorry, honey. Um, the Bengal Tiger acrylic and the um, Dixie ebonite in the jade. So those will be up in the next couple of days. Everybody else... I'm learning about these just as you are, so <laughs> it's the um, news to me. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so we, we came home with a boatload of those and um, the new uh, 3776 uh, Pure just came out, yeah, so we got those. Nice and box, too, really nice box. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's an elongated oval, different Mm -hmm. So it's it's very cool. It's awesome. uh, what else did we pick up? Uh, we got a bunch of displays. Yeah, the for, displays are neat. For preppies, for plaisirs, and uh, for the 3776s and for the presidents, which I did not order. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was cool. We came home with a bunch of displays. Um, so anybody who comes in now and buys a plaisir has to pay in yen? Because that's what it, that's what the price is on them. It's a thousand fifty yen for a plaisir. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but yeah, yeah. No, it was it was cool. Uh, so all the space that we made got filled up. We didn't have yeah. any extra space. Pretty much, and uh, well, we we picked up a couple other things and uh, some um, books. Some books. Um, nice some other new old stock stuff. Um, yeah. So, and uh, so we pack up. We get out of there within a couple hours, and not five minutes out on the highway, we almost rear-end another car, <laughs> and the Michael Saul piece comes flying from from afar in the car, and a and a display come and whacks me in the head. Uh, that was exciting. Um, and uh, pretty much it was after that it was fairly uneventful until the incident. <sighs> Come on, I got to get some mileage out of this. This is pretty funny, actually. Now that you think about it. All right, so <laughs> picture this: last year we drove, I don't know, like fifty thousand miles, much of it at two in the morning. Okay, we've never 
knock wood, thank God, uh, spun out into a ditch. We've never had pretty, uh, we've never had really bad weather. Um, once on the way back from, I think, Baltimore, we pulled over when, when we couldn't see. Uh, but remember, you know, we went through two whiteouts with a 20-foot U-Haul, so right. we're pretty tough when it comes to driving. Yeah, we came, uh, came close to a deer once. That, uh, on the way back from Raleigh, I think. Raleigh, yeah. And <sighs> Brian's kind of dozing. It's like 2 in the morning. I don't know what time it is. Yeah. And these two little things run out in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I scream because, of course, something ran in front of me, um, and there was a big thump. There was a big thump. I <laughs> wasn't sure what the heck happened, um, and, but as I woke up, I saw these, well, I saw one thing <laughs> Get the <slow> <laughs> one. <laughs> running across the street. You know, you know, they say you don't have to be the fastest. You just got to be faster than the one guy behind you. Um yeah, so we, we hit... I hit a raccoon. Lisa hit a raccoon. Um, and then, so right after... <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a pretty big thump. <laughs> <laughs> so right after, Brian says, well, should we stop? <laughs> no! <laughs> what are we going to do? Especially if it's wounded. What if, if it's me to stop? It's 2 in the morning. It's in the middle of nowhere. What if it's hanging on? Or to your life. It's paws stuck in the... It's horrible. It was horrible, and I felt bad, but I, you know, raccoons are a little nasty anyway. They can be. I'm, I'm not stopping. Uh, so when we did stop a couple hours later, there, there was no evidence of anything, so I am going to be the optimist and believe that Little Mr. Rocky just got a really strong nudge on his butt. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Um, Lisa didn't find it very funny that uh, I played uh, <laughs> Rocky Raccoon um, on the on the sound system in the car afterwards. And then last night, um, as we're at um, at a at a Hallmark store, uh, they just happened to have a stuffed <laughs> raccoon. Right. Um, and so I made her, I made her stand and, and take a picture with the raccoon. So it had like a big heart on it. And love me. And... Uh, so yes, I I hit a raccoon. I felt incredibly bad, but you know I'm I'm not going to stop at two in the morning in the middle of nowhere where there are no street lights. We have no idea what the situation is. So yeah, Brian's been just delightful about it. Well, you know, I think it kind of makes up a little bit for, you know, the, the iPhone 6 taunting that's been going oh on all God. week. Oh, my God. So that's the other drama. Right before we left, <laughs> one of us got the new iPhone. Uh, the other one of us did not. And he's been bitterly unhappy. Well, now, he come close to now come on. Now, you, you're the one who, who took my phone and you're like, Oh well, I can't get on. My thumbprint doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's it's last year's technology. Doesn't work on that one. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. So of course, you know, the whole time, uh, the the new phone is very cool. Uh, I like it a lot. But one of us, not me, uh, has been very um, cranky about it. Well, I just hope it gets here before, I don't know, for show season ends. <laughs> so anyway, that you know, that's our other big excitement is I, I, I'm fine with technology. I'm pretty good with technology, but I don't do change no, well. No, so, <laughs> so switch, hey, I was pretty good. Switching over to a new phone is always a little bit Yeah, you didn't throw anything. That was good. I know. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> So, you know, that was that was our other big excitement for the week. Um, trying to think of what else is new and exciting. We've got a couple new things in the store. but uh, You have uh, one on your desk. I do. Shall I show it? I, well, I'm, I'm waiting. 
All right. Does anybody know what that is? Wayne's going to know. Wayne knows everything. Wayne's going to know this. And I'm holding it still. Ta -da. All right, so the new Twisby 580 USA finally arrived. Uh, I guess it arrived while we were gone. Did it? Oh, I thought it arrived today. And I believe it's... Uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, Ken Rowe arrived while we were gone. And so uh, it is on the site? Yep. You betcha. Okay. It's kind of cool. So it's got the, the red cap and the blue piston knob. And it has the USA flag on the top. So it's like the ROC edition, except it's got the American flag mm -hmm. instead of the, the Chinese. Yeah, it's very cool. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, what else do we have that's new? We will have a bunch of stuff up. Uh, um, yeah, I'm working, working on a bunch of stuff. Oh, I, I, we do have one. Uh, some of the... Um, <laughs> um, some of the new old stock stuff we got. One, I, I got one in of a sh original Schaefer Legacy One touchdown filler with the factory stub nib. Um, oh, I love these. This this happens to be my my Legacy, and it's, it's cobalt blue with um, brushed gold fill cap. It's identical to this pen, but it's new old stock. It's got the stub nib. Very very sweet sweet pen and it's got that cool cool uh, filling system and the, it actually works so uh, that that is one of the the items that uh, we got that's going up and there's a couple of other interesting things um, some new old stock limited edition biscottis um, oh my god to die for these are gorgeous yeah kind are there of any fine nib uh, no I think they're all no <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> are you sure? I no, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, these are pretty. They're green. green they were the marble. limited edition that were made for uh, Pens Plus back in the day. Yep. So double reservoir power filler, 18 karat two tone nibs. Absolutely. Even uh, I want one. Yeah. Why not? So. Well, so we could get a medium and we could share it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, because that works. Uh, sharing pens. Why wouldn't that work? Okay, so uh, how's this gonna work? We're gonna ink it up. Who gets to use it first? Me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> when do I get to use it? When I'm not using it. And when are you not gonna be using it? Hmm. So I could get the Visconti, <laughs> <laughs> and you can just, you know, mm. stare at your hand at Luca Shook. Yeah, well, I washed it now, so <laughs> it's anywhere near is, is exciting. Um, I know. So yeah, what, um, else, uh, what else? Do we miss anything else? Well, we've got... Um, i got a couple new videos up this week. Um, mm -hmm. Twisby Mini and the uh, VAC 700. Uh, with uh, the VAC 20 bottle and how to fill it. Um, so, Do we have so, the video of the classic up yet? Uh, you, that was last week. Okay. Yep. I can't keep track. Um, got a couple more uh, in the queue for the rest of the week, uh, so stay tuned. And what else? Um, that's probably pretty close to it. Huh? We got some shout-outs maybe? We do, we do. Uh, we'll have a bunch of other new things up on the site in the next week or so. A um, bunch of stuff that we've gotten in, and um, we just haven't had time to get it up yet. Uh, all sorts of platinums. We got some fun platinums in. We did and, get some fun platinums, yep. Yep. The cools and the balances and the 3776s, they came in like literally the day before we left. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and E95S and, and all sorts of stuff. E95S is a phenomenal writer. Oh, my God. Awesome. I was so, using it all weekend, and it's just so incredibly smooth. Yeah, so, I mean, you, you can always email us if, if we don't have it up yet. We have the stuff, so. We, um, we also had a little mishap with a pen. Bit of mishap with a pen. Are we gonna talk about that? 
mishap with the pen. Well, we got the pens in, but we couldn't sell them. Uh, no, no, we don't need to talk okay. about that. All right. Uh, anyway, we've got some other stuff coming in. I uh, got a bunch of shout outs, so we're just going to skip right over to there. We're going to do that and be on our way. All right. Uh, we got to meet uh, Charles and Angela, and that yeah, was a blast. Nice. Um, I, I recognized Charles, but uh, I, I more recognized Angela from her Facebook picture. Um, and they were just absolutely delightful. So it was wonderful to to finally meet them in person. That was great. Absolutely. Um, and uh, Charles, I hope you're enjoying the uh, the Collier because you got the the last. He got the last of the lighter ones, right? He did. He got the absolute yeah. last, and it, and, it, and it matched with his shirt. <laughs> it matched what? It matched perfectly with his shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't think they that were was just... the deciding factor, but, but it really. It was... <laughs> It's really nice. Yeah, that, that was fun. Um, we got to meet uh, Tim G. He said he listens to the podcast, so shout out to Tim. Um, a shout out to uh, Sherry W. She called the store. She listens in. She had a question. Um, actually, I was supposed to have you call her. She had a question about some Estabrook nibs, so okay. that was cool. Um, who else did we get to meet? There were so many people. Well, you got, we got a shout out to Eddie G. Eddie G, we have the, f the the cutest picture of Eddie G with two books that he won. Um, big huge shout out to Eddie G and his wife Marianne. Marianne, yep. Yep. Um, they're just always so much fun. Uh, Tiffany and Leslie, big shout out to them. We got to mm -hmm. spend some time with them. Um, Leslie hung out until the very end. She was kind of in and out. Uh, of the room, and then she was she was there. If she stayed any longer, I was going to make her help pack up. But uh, it was great. She's just chit chatting and uh, trying to figure out what to do with uh, for dinner. Um, shout out to Lucas. Um, Tiffany was um, tell you what she gets big kudos for uh, being a teacher. That's not an easy job, high school. Um, who else Donna was there? Carol. John and Carol, for sure. That was so awesome. It was it was like having Hugh and Carol all over again in Dallas. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I, I had a list, and I didn't bring it home with me, uh, and I'm sorry for that. Who else did we? Uh, there were so many people who came up and, and you know, oh, Janice. Big oh, yeah, hugs to Janice. Janice. Yeah, that's right. It was awesome to meet her in person. Um Paul Janice is like like you down south. It was just we've we've had a lot of communication back and forth, and it was just super super awesome to finally meet her in person, and that was just great. Um, you know, I I spent a whole lot of time like hugging. <laughs> Although, is Charles in the chat? He needs he is, to yeah. um he needs to verify I did not scream. I was planning on you know doing my usual. Okay. Scream and hug, and I, I was very subdued. Well, you know, I, I, um, I just, I just, just thought of something. Um, there was one other thing that, that you got for me at the show, but I didn't bring it, so we'll talk about it next week. I bought you something. Well, you didn't buy it; you acquired it. What did I acquire? That I had at the store today that I was going to bring home that I didn't bring home. Of the Not diminutive, rainbow. diminutive variety. Oh yeah, Brian fell in love with something and I finagled it. So I got we'll talk about it next week because I, I just happened to be looking at my desk and I see the large version sitting right on my desk. So it, it was so cute because Brian hardly ever asks for anything. <laughs> Usually it's a pen, and he saw this thing on another table, and we were just kind of making the rounds, and then we went back to You're our. You're like table. trying to talk, and I'm like. That's cute. I gotta have that. <laughs> I might buy that. And you're like trying to do whatever you're trying to do, and I'm like, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So he he was totally enamored of this thing that he saw, and uh, he ended up coming home with two of them. So. Uh, but yeah, they they are very adorable. Absolutely. So I don't was, even know if they're. I don't even know if you, we can get them to. To. I don't know, sell, but, but but you had a good time. <laughs> yeah. So it was you know your, the usual pen show fun. We were in a room full of friends and passionate people and pretty shiny pointy things and we got to meet a lot of people, we got to look at a lot of pens and we got to um, drink some good beer and uh, 
have some interesting conversation to and from the show. It's a really yeah. good time. Well, love the show. It was our best best Della show ever. So I just uh, there was <laughs> some drama as usual, uh, not with us. Um, it, during the packing up of the room, um, and they're doing something different this year. There, there were some people who were staying on for Sunday. I have not heard how well that went. Um, it was in the it, small room. It yeah, it was in the. In the so, so not that many people were there. It certainly was not that the the entire show um, expanded into Sunday. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it was busy or if it was not worth it. Um, this show generally, I, I don't think it's ever had a Sunday. So we'll no, see how it works. No, the first, first time. Yep. Some, uh, a few people stayed. So, um, But we wanted to get on the road and... Um, it's funny, we slept in the same Walmart parking lot and had breakfast at the same Panera. And <laughs> yeah, it just, it just happened to work out that way. Yep. So. so, anyway, that's that from here. Okay. Um, anything else? That should do it. I think we're done. Okay. Uh, oh, comments, so. suggestions, or topics? Uh, use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Uh, catch us online. You can send us an email. Brian at AndersonPens.net. Or Lisa at AndersonPens.net. You can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all other social media as AndersonPens. The blog, blog.AndersonPens.net. And the website is AndersonPens.net. Uh, join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming new products, uh, stuff going on on the website and in the store. Thanks so much for listening to our podcast this evening, and we will see you next week. Have a good night. Bye, guys.